right now, though, let's turn our attention to well, something else that uh, Home Secretary's been trying to deal with, which is uh, uh, getting the eco protesters off our roads, uh, dealing with their, for instance, their blocking of the M25, you know, climbing up on gantries, uh, stopping roads, standing on bridges, and now the slow walk protests. Well, a law was uh, approved to stop slow walking protests after Just Stop Oil uh, has been uh, taken to that mode of, a, of, a, of a attack, uh, despite uh, Labour voting against it. Let's talk to a man, though, who's been well, very much a funder of those protests, uh, Dale Vince, founder of Ecotricity. Good morning to you, Dale. Yeah, morning, Julia. Good morning. We've spoken to you many times about um, uh, eco issues, um, but you've been very much in the news lately because you are not just a big funder or, you know, to do a very, very big tune of Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion, Animal Rising and the like, uh, but you've also a big funder of Labour Party. Uh, £1.5 million pounds you've given to Keir Starmer's uh, party uh, in very uh, recent years. Um, why are you giving money to both of those groups? Um, I believe in them both. I give money to lots of different people, Julia, uh, people like Greenpeace, Sea Shepherd, a women's refuge here in Stroud. I fund uh, breakfast clubs at schools as well, uh, all kinds of stuff. But these are the two that obviously the media focus on, Just Stop Oil and uh, Labour, because uh, obviously there's a bit of a, uh, uh, let's say, an apparent contradiction because uh, Keir Starmer has spoken out against Just Stop Oil and... Um, you know, so the, the media focus on these two things. Well, no, I suppose for me, one of the, uh, the it's not so much a contradiction as as I guess I, you know you're a very wealthy man, you're self-made man from largely from wind turbines, from renewable energy, highly subsidised renewable energy, by the way. Uh, you're worth more than a hundred million yeah, pounds. That's, but, that's untrue. But, but what's Renew, untrue? Renew, renewable energy is not subsidised. There are no subsidies. There are no subsidies for renewable energy in this country. No, no. Really? No. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So, <laughs> anyway, build your, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. All credit to you for making the money. The problem I have with this is you're giving money to a group which is calling for basically an end to, uh, uh, you know, to, to more. A bit, I don't want an end within like by tomorrow of us using fossil fuels. How convenient mm, for someone who runs true. a wind turbine company. Uh, they want by true. 2025 was what they were demanding. Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil and the others, and and giving money to a political party that wants to end new licenses <clears> for <throat> fossil fuels in the North Sea. Is it not the case that I'm all in credit we're giving money to women's refuges and other charities that are I'm breakfast clubs, all credit to you for that. But a couple, you know, giving money to a charity to, to a campaign group and giving money to a political party who who what they want to do very much benefits you financially, people are entitled to ask questions, aren't they? Well, first, just to be clear, just stop oil have a single mission single ask of government which is no new drilling for oil and gas in the north sea mm -hmm. they don't want to stop the use of fossil fuels they want to stop us pulling Extinction more of the stuff out of the ground so fun then okay uh that's fine but just stop all i thought we were talking about okay, well, so, various different and that's, that you found, and, yes. and that's actually that's actually mainstream scientific opinion globally that it's we can't not. afford to find yes it is the, the iea the international energy agency I, I call that mainstream i call the united nations mainstream Do you? the ipcc absolutely yeah i don't know why you don't actually so anyway just to clear that up that's the thing let's you're, not drill let's not drill well, for no, more no, fossil no, fuels come back because on, we tell, already have tell me enough, what they all right? say tell me what they all say the mainstream opinion but, to have any chance of being within one and a half degrees global temperature rise, we can't find more f more fossil fuels. We can't pull more fossil fuels out of the ground than we already have access to. We can't go drilling and exploring for more fossil fuels. Okay. It's very simple. It's very simple. And and to do so, won't lower our energy bills. We know that that's a fact. And it won't give us energy Why security. Why won't it lower our energy bills? Okay, so you don't know what happened in the energy crisis. Half of our gas came from the North Sea. We didn't save a penny. We paid 10 times more for that gas because we let global markets set the price of it. So it doesn't matter market, how much... Global markets set the price. If we, if we actually invested matter. in new licenses for more fossil fuels, fracked the gas underneath our, our ground and uh, and got the gas and the oil more so out of the North, North Sea, we could be a global exporter again. America hasn't seen the same price rises. Why? Because they are busy getting their own fossil fuels out of the ground. 
No, not true. They, they regulate themselves differently. We allow global markets to set the price that we pay for our fossil fuels. Mm. It doesn't matter how much we get out of the ground here. We won't save a penny. In the next energy crisis, we'll no, pay the global but, price. No, that's sorry. a fact. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a fact. We, no, that's only if we fact. carry on with the absurd way we set prices for energy in this country. That is that's not... That's what I'm saying. That was, that was not handed do down do by way. God on a tablet, no. Dale. That's a, deci a, a crazy decision by the government, which is in hock to people. You know, I mean, God, I mean... I don't even know why you give money to the Labour Party on this, because the Tory party is mad on, on net zero as, as, a, as the Labour Party are. Well, the Tory party may be mad, but not on net zero. Are they not? So, no, no look, th this, is, this is all um, free markets gone crazy, right? That's, that we can probably free agree on. That we, allow, that we allow global, global markets to set the price that we pay ourselves for our own fossil fuels. This drilling in the North Sea that Rishi Sunak has approved will not change that at all. The, the new oil and gas that comes out of that North Sea will be sold to us at global prices. And we don't have enough, by the way, to become an exporter of fossil fuels. That's a fantasy. Well, 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 we, well we did, but we, well, we wouldn't have to rely on global markets outside. For, they're really frustrating. Whenever we talk to you, it's always too late. So much been going on this morning, Nottingham and elsewhere. We haven't had enough time to talk. We need to get you in the studio, have a proper long chat at some point, because you just say, no, that's not true to everything. When I'm pretty sure you're, you're not right on a lot of these things. Dale Vince, founder of Ecotristic, really appreciate you joining us. Really, really quick word from uh, Mike Graham. Uh, lots coming up on your show, I know. Yes, absolutely.